Our talk show Titans Week continues with the daddy of the DNA test. In the case of three-year-old Carlito, Rayshon, you are not. <laughs> Titan, are you kidding? It's called Survivor. There are 75 daytime talk shows in the graveyard. Okay? <laughs> so you worry about that all the time. You just don't want to go to the cemetery. Marco, you are not. <laughs> Maury found talk show ratings gold by asking one provocative question. Who's the daddy? And they said, we have this idea. Uh, we want to do paternity tests. And we can have a result within 10 or 12 minutes. And the audience, that's all they're looking for is a result. And you build that up with the drama. I said, I don't want to know the result. If I know the answer, I will skew my questions. I don't want to know anything more than the people I'm talking to. And that was the key. That key unlocked nearly 30 years of you are not the father. In the case of two-year-old DeAsia, Marquise, you are not. <laughs> James, you are the father. <laughs> Today, Maury works only two days a week and makes an estimated 13 million a year. Worth a reported 60 million, Maury still gets 100 calls a week asking if he can help determine paternity. And he's got this cool story about what happened behind the scenes when he got together with his fellow talk show titans. Phil, on his 25th anniversary, he invited all the talk show hosts to do a segment. We were all in a green room. When I, I, when I'm telling you, it was me and Mattel and Geraldo. Oprah, and we were all in the green room waiting to go on. All big time talk show hosts, and we never said a word to each other. There was silence the entire time. <laughs> we were so into ourselves, who the heck? <laughs> what do we need each other for? Maury is still married to Connie Chung, and here's one thing you may not have known about the first show he hosted, A Current Affair. You know the show that went. We wanted this sound that whenever you, somebody heard that, they would stop what they were doing and watch the show. And they named it as a gift uh, to my wife, so they called it the Connie Pichon. 